EY is launching a new report, the EY Growth Barometer. This report is unique because for the first time we're surveying close to 2,400 leaders from mid-market companies from across 30 countries. 60% of those are CEOs and the remainder are executives. This report gives us really great insight into the views of mid-market leaders around the macro environment. It gives us insights into their growth expectations over the coming year. It also gives us insights into what they see as some of the key risks and barriers to achieving their growth expectations. What surprised us most about the findings in the report was that uncertainty is the new normal. Things like Brexit, the Paris Climate Accord, trouble on the Korean Peninsula, our mid-market leaders are actually seeing this as a great opportunity for growth. We were really surprised by how bullish they all seem to be around their growth expectations. A little over half of all respondents are expecting growth in excess of 6% and of those, one in seven are expecting growth in excess of 16%. That's significantly higher than the latest World Bank global GDP forecasts of 2.7%. Our mid-market leaders are almost universally focused on innovation, but it also means for them investing in disruptive technologies like robotic process automation and artificial intelligence. They don't see those technologies as replacing human talent, but rather to free up the humans to be creative and to help really drive innovation. Talent and technology emerged as key themes, but both as a key enabler and also the biggest threat to growth. As enablers to growth, it's that twinning of human capability with disruptive technology to drive innovation, but equally getting access to the best talent and investing in those new disruptive technologies are seen as a real challenge for our mid-market companies. In the US, access to talent emerges as one of the critical challenges that our mid-market leaders are facing. In contrast, tiger economies, access to capital is really proving an issue for them in achieving their growth ambitions. We also surveyed a special group of nearly 300 high growth entrepreneurs. The threat of competition really sat at the top of their list and that meant that their focus is really on driving innovation. Interestingly, their technology investments are all centred around innovating and transforming the experience of their customers. The high growth entrepreneur believe they should be spending at least 80% of their time focused on the future and only 20% on running their current operations. The broader cohort of respondents really only think they should be spending about 50 to 60% of their time on the future. What was common was that they all believe universally that they're not spending enough time today focused on the future.